and dishonor to principles if a door opened yesterday and is now closed let me tell you what closed it it's not just spirits the spirits were authorized by your dishonor every door apostle yesterday this man loved me so much and would help me and open doors for me in london but right now it looks as if the man does not even want to see me i tell you what happened dishonor dishonor you must learn to honor people when i met your precious man of god i honored him with all my heart and i still do and his wife for all of you who are gathered here in as much as i'm ministering to you i still honor you i honor you it's one thing to be called it's another thing to be anointed but it's another thing again for a generation to think you are that valuable and then to come and take the risk to listen to you and to open up their hearts to the grace upon your life that is honor yes thank you could it be that this may be why many of us have not been promoted honor the day you walk to your boss and say sir i came into london without a father or a mother when you saw me you saw my tomorrow i'm not in your office to seek for promotion i'm in your office with this token to tell you i celebrate you thank you for seeing my future for believing in me for investing in me that's all i came to say thank you you see this virtue is scarce that's why few people rise There are many of you here, your loved ones, scattered across this region and scattered across the regions of the world. The ability to discern. Yes, mother may not be educated. Yes, mother may not even be able to speak English. But mother carries a strange grace. Everything she told you happened. Why have you ignored her? You can, a simple phone call, mother, I just want you to know that I am grateful. You told me that I would come to London. And I know you never went to school. But your word, I respect God, God's investment upon your life. Listen, do you know your miracle keeps passing you every day? But dishonor closes the doors to their anointings. It is possible, and I say this respectfully, you can be in this church for instance. And I don't mean to insult your pedigree. Believe me, I love you and I honor you with all my heart. But if you see your man of God and his wife just as leaders, they are just leaders over me. Congratulations. You will get leadership, but you may never receive the grace upon their lives. Elijah told Elisha, if you can see me, was he not looking at him? If you can discern what I represent. If you know men only by the flesh, you know for those of you who did i shared my story um coming i was i've been very very busy i just had to come in i came in this morning and then i'm back again for another conference uh, my schedules are quite uh, busy quite honestly and as at yesterday night it was almost like i was i was not going to make it we had a conversation with pastor and um, i i left my luggage i came without that's why you see me looking funky and you see but behind listen your wife may be your miracle if you can see if all she is to you is your wife you will get a good meal you will get love but there may be a grace upon her the day you see her as touching that grace she can pray for you and your heavens will be open this is the thing about men that men do not know when i say men i regardless of gender the power of god is coming on you you will never be the same never be the same listen to me the person seated next to you may be an orchestration by god because the individual may carry the grace for speed just because you came to church it's not only the pastor or the man of god that has that grace 
they can say turn to your neighbor and say god bless you and you may resent the person because it does not carry a persona that is attractive and lose your miracle i show you the mystery that enthrones men it is not enough to know god you must also know men as far as dominion in the cosmos is concerned please listen to what i tell you i'm sharing with you a powerful secret my life is changed because i honor god and i honor men i honor your nation i honor your leaders i honor your parliament i honor the leaders political spiritual i honor them i will never stand in your nation and in your church to do anything at all that does not uh, um, represent the counsel of God. No, I come with a heart of honor. And when you come with honor, the gates open. It is a law. I'm not only preaching to you. I honor you. Your pastor, we had a little conversation with him. And my God, I, I am touched by the depth of the love and the passion that this man of God and I believe his wife have for you is more than leadership believe me do you know let me tell you this one of the biggest secrets to the grace and the glory of god and many of you have listened to my teachings you don't even know what made you addicted to them there is a grace watch this listen to me ladies and gentlemen this man standing before you is a lover of god and a lover of men my name means the way to love it is not only God I love I love men I really do so it is easy for the anointing it is easy to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity I love people I will never look down on people I love people sincerely it doesn't matter what you have it doesn't matter what you do not have the love of God so the power of God God can invest his grace and glory because he knows you will not take people for granted you can pray you can fast but if you do not believe in the ministry of men you may never rise you need to meet God and you need to meet men to be enthroned are we blessed these are mysteries of the kingdom i have met men and i encountered anointings i met men and i encountered wisdom i met men i encountered insight i met men and they opened up their scars of decades and i learned in one day a man's pain of over a lifetime who have you ignored who have you ignored to prove you love god it's imbalance you must straighten it it is important to love God and love men there are men whose words are like the Word of God if they open their mouth your destiny must open have you honored them enough are you getting blessed